part today we're putting together a video on how to change out the aileron bushing from the aileron bracket. This is on the outside of all the two and four place aircraft. There are three different kinds of bearings, actually four, that we have on our airplanes. The 902-013-1, which is the aileron bearing. The 902-013-2, which is the flap bearing. This goes inside the flap, allows the aileron torque tube to go through. And then finally, the 902-013-3, which is the flap. And they all install the same way. To remove, to remove a bearing, you'll need a screwdriver. And the easiest way to do that is just take the bearing, pushing away from you, not to poke your own hand. Don't ask me how I know this. But you simply just put the screwdriver in, push on the bearing right underneath it, and pop it out. Now we've taken our bearing out. It's important that when you're installing a new bearing that you warm it. And one way to do it is by warming it on the whoops, by warming it on the palm of your hand. You want it to be a little bit warm because if it's too cold it will crack. Then you simply push it and get a V in it, much like this. And then you install that into the bearing clamp, the bracket pushing down the V. It'll almost look like a heart when you get it in there and then ride it up to the top and then finally come back with a bearing sizing tool. This is one of the new ones from the GPA. We have room for the 902013, the aileron bearing. This is for the oversized bearing and once you've gone oversized there's no more oversize you can go. And finally this is for the flat bearing on this end. It also does the um, the flap dash two bearing up on the front as well. So once you have it all together, you take the bearing sizing tool and you simply hold the bracket and then push the bearing sizing tool through, which now completely rounds out the bearing and it's now ready to be installed on the airplane. <coughs> Instead of opening up an airplane, this is just simply a bracket that I already have as a spare. It's off an aircraft, and therefore there was no worry about having to dismantle an aircraft to get to it. Thank you so much for your attention, and we'll move on.